Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, Long Island is full of fantastic people. We have traveled into many of our great communities to bring you the following stories. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. Get ready, My Long Island TV starts now. We make a very small two inch tubular uh, looking pie, which is very elegant looking. And uh, when we were serving them for a dinner one night, one of our customers said, gosh, those are really posh looking pies. And that's how posh pies came around. <laughs> so we said, what a great name for a company. So that's what we're called. Our pies are made with natural organic ingredients, uh, unbleached flour, and as much local produce as we can get. It's, every season is pretty much different. Our crust is phenomenal. I mean, it's what people talk about. It's the, re it's the reason people come back and buy them again. Um, a lot of, we have a lot of people tell us that they buy the pie for dessert and they don't get even through dinner. They've eaten it by the time they get at home. So. That's right. <laughs> We work well together and we get a lot done. There's a lot of love that go into this business, but you know, it can be just difficult working with friends and family, of course, but we get the operation done. Originally, I was making the pies. Mars came up with the idea that, you know, let's, why don't we market the pies? Why don't we do something with the pies? They're great and people love them, and why don't we turn it into a business? So. We thought, okay, we'll give it a go, we'll set it up, and we'll see how it goes. And it took off. It just took off. How many pies are you, are you cranking out in a week? Uh, well, with two people, it's about, at this point, uh, 150 pies a week. And there's a lot of other work goes in there into the labeling and the packaging. I mean, it's not just pies. It's we do it all by hand. Delivery and packaging and labeling. Yeah, and we don't have one pie left at the end of the week. We, we have to be sensible about how we build this business because really it's, um, we want to take it to the next level. This is a promise we've made to ourselves that we will continue to keep, keep the integrity of our product at the quality level that we have currently and not let that happen as I know it does through, you know, when things get tough and get busy, products seem to, you know, change. change. We're at Lake Grove uh, Whole Foods Market mm -hmm. every other Wednesday and on Thursdays we'll be getting the uh, Jericho Whole Foods Market. They loved what we were doing. They invited us to come and do one of their only outdoor market that they had uh, put out last week for the locals and have and uh, now we are an official vendor and in their system we're waiting for our first order from them. So that's very exciting. Yeah, we'd, we'd like to think we can go into a line, of fro a line of frozen pies as well. We also do small, small pies, little bite-sized pies, but it's just a matter of focusing on what we're doing right now with what we have. Well, I, she's more direct with the clients, uh, talking to deliveries and their orders. Uh, I'm more doing my thing here, pumping out pies. <laughs> When I go home, I'm still quite a partner. It doesn't really kind of end when I leave here. <laughs> but um, the strategy is to make the local towns happy and get our name out, and then progressively Whole Foods and see where that takes us. Uh, packaging frozen pies around the nation, whatever yeah. it takes to get them out there. 